In St. Louis? I can hold close. Are you giving them smoke? What she did? She dancing and shit. Oh, fucked him up. Yo, how how you not file charges? That's not that's no no type of abuse or something. No, it's, I mean, I right, listen, bro. I just want to be all the way real. Uh, realistically, that's a sad thing that that's happened like that. But just for the sake of me saying what I really feel, like nobody got hurt. They had on boxing gloves. They had on Hulk gloves. Right. So, I mean, but the Hulk gloves are still made out of <laughs> foam. You know what I mean? Nobody got hurt. They was playing around. And it ain't no different than the teacher not paying attention to your kid. And they in there play fighting and play wrestling, and somebody really get hurt. So my thing is, they could either pay attention to the situation and control it, or they could not control it, not pay attention to it. Then your kid gets slammed on his shit, come home with busted lip and everything else. So I mean, I don't know. I hate to play devil advocate. Like if I looked on that camera and that was my kid winning the fight, I'm happy. <laughs> but then if I look on that camera and that's my kid losing the fight, then I want to press charges. So then I wonder which one is pushing the pushing the envelope here. Well, you know what I mean, I mean, as a parent, I would say first, um, that shouldn't be happening. Yeah. First of all, um, if you did want to have a fight club, I should be able to sign off on the fight club and, and attend. You should, and you should be able to do it uh, with good instruction. So just don't be laughing because my kid be getting beat up. You yeah. know, teach them how to fight. Set up a real boxing class if you're gonna do that. I think at the end of the day, you can't have a you can't be in school and say that we are teaching your kids how to socialize and play fair and play nice and then you're holding fucking MMA fights for toddlers. So I mean, I just think at the end of the day, like it's bullshit. I I'm glad it, that it wasn't in New York because I was just thinking like all oh, the first they selling crack out the daycares, <laughs> now they doing fight night out the fucking daycares. What the fuck is next? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, that shit, that shit, I, I, it's scary because now it's almost like you can't trust the daycares. You know what I'm saying? But. And it seems like there's no disciplinary action for them either. Well, they said that, they, that the counselors got fired. So, I mean, that's pretty much all you can do. If you try to chase it anymore, they'll quit. And then you have to uh, file criminal charges but if the daycare don't, if the daycare barely wanted to file criminal charges there, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of litigation. So should they let like the, uh, the mothers of the children have their own fight club with the, the teachers that were in there? I think, so that, I, I, think, I think that would be perfect justice. I would invite me to see that. I know some, <laughs> well, you got my kid fighting. Listen, yeah, you can knuckle up. I, I know some titties going to be flying out them shirts. Why we got to go there? Because that's what I'm there for. Titties. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, misogyny. I only watch girl fights for titties popping out. Like, I don't watch MMA because they got on sports bras, and half of them look like men. So, it's not going to be no titties popping out of those fights. But, in the hood, it's always titties popping out. I'm not going to confirm or deny <laughs> that the best fights in the hood was when they had sundresses on. Yeah. And it'd be titties and ass out. Somebody get the, the shit beat out of them, but they titties and they ass look good. You like, oh, I gotta try to fuck her now, even though she get the shit beat out of her. She might, she might need some consoling. And now I'm here, and I will comfort you. I actually was in one of that position one time. She was getting the ass whooped, mm -hmm. but then she fell, hit her head, and pissed herself. What the fuck? Who did that? The chick that was getting beat up. So it wasn't like, once you piss yourself, I can't really console you. Nah, if you got a fat ass and your titties popped out and you get knocked down and piss yourself, I will console you. I will. And I will comfort you. Comfort you. Unacceptable. Yeah. Take her home, shower No, up. no, enough, enough. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Feed no. her. No. Cut it off.